Hello. Hello. Good evening, everyone. So, the theme of this year's course is Theater Without Bounds, correct, Bob? Yes, so in PDL 700, there are three women, si Inday Nanay, Inday OFW, and Inday Bato, that share with us their stories and experiences behind bars. So even if they are bounded, they are still with us right now, because through the theater and the arts, their stories will be heard. So the last time we performed this play was not in your usual auditorium, school, or your usual stage like this one. Instead, we, perf we performed it in front of the women themselves of BJMP Women's Dormitory in Iloilo City, just right across our university. So that's that place, <laughs> and that's us and the women. There we saw faces of regret, pain, sorrow, longingness, gratitude, and hope. There we saw hope and that they still had a chance to make their lives better. And that despite the boundaries, their stories can still be heard. And that their stories serves as an, an inspiration that theater has no bounds. Kay ang babahi nga nagahigugma, hilway. Introducing Ma'am Rosa Zerudo, dramaturg of PDL 700. Ma'am Rosa. My gab is in your tanan. Um, so this is uh, an inspiration from the stories of real women, um, real human beings who are have so beautiful, beautiful stories to tell. So when we started doing this project 2014 at Iloilo City District Jail Female Dormitory, um, I actually uh, investigated on what is freedom inside the prison. Why PDL 700? PDL stands for Persons Deprived of Liberty. Ang tawag sa mga women inmates, they are in jail. And when you're in this jail, you are actually on trial. So normal lang siguro nga daw, ka damo sa aton, in this whole space, amo na po yanta, pwede na. Siguro one day, two days, pwede camping, no? Pero if you're on trial for six years, ten years, and the congestion is 700%. So you can imagine living with the uh, same people, 237 at a time, because of the tokhang nag no? So 237 women living in a space na dapat para lang sa 30 ka mga babayi. So how they survive? So ang siguro ang ginagpangita natin pero may mga disaster, ya, ang nagaguba ang balay, wala toilet, no? Ang naguba ang skulahan. But sometimes we don't see the disaster, which is very, very personal. And this disaster that we experience every day, and this trauma. So, sa amon ng mga artists, anong pwede natin nga mahimo in actually our response to disaster? So, ang ako niya pagtanaw nga, uh, it's important to build houses, it's important to build toilets. But I think what is the most important is to build this the inner infrastructure, the inner architecture. So by listening to the women, by letting them tell their stories, nag-umpisa niya sa project naman nga, Inday does, no? They tell their stories by creating objects, the objects, no? stories of objects, no? Pangkuton sila naman, ano ang experience, yung dili sa sulod, sang prisohan, sang jail, ginaburda nila, ginahimo nila mga hugot lines, ginatahi nila, ginahimo nila mga munyeka, nga ginatawag naman nga inday dal. Nga inday, kay mga ilo-ilo, sa ilo-ilo sila, so ang mga inday naton nga na-stigmatize, nga kung inday kaluluoy, inday gani, katabang, inday gani, domestic helper, no? So gusto natin ibalik ang dignity sa pagiging inday. That character that embodies that powerful, resilient woman, that beautiful um, woman, no? So nakita namon, nakita ko to sa sulod nga ang mga inday gali dito, they have very powerful stories. Tatlo lang ni sa 237 stories including their families padamo, no? So it's a wealth, no? It's it's a material. So sa so nakita namon actually is the freedom in prison. No? Sa hilway ang pagkahilway nila. Kaysa naga-istorya na sila, dito na mo nakita ang ilang kusog, ang ilang kaayo, ang ilang kaalam, 
ang ila nga pagka ma taliambong no kay grabe ka creative ang mga babae then i discovered artists i discovered talented people i discovered intelligent women and so this is our gift back to them by telling their story we ask permission from them if we can tell their story of course with anonymity uh, and for security reasons of course we want to keep that but also, we want to honor their stories. We want to celebrate their lives, no? So that alone, sharing it with you, and now understanding what is the trauma in our society, we are standing up for, that, for those women also. By telling their story and hearing their story, we are with them. We are standing up with them. So siling ganit namon nga ang mga babahi nga nagaistorya, ang mga babahi nga nagahigugma, Hilway. Naging pamangkot na akong sila. Ano ang kahilwayan ninyo sa sulod sa prisohan, sa jail? Siling nila, kaya pa naman mag-create, kaya pa naman mag-imagine. Kag, the most important thing, we can still give love to our children. We can still give love to our families. So, we stand with these women as we actually listen and empathize and sympathize and be as fellow human beings. Share these beautiful stories of women. Ari na sila. Ang USA Little Theater sa mga istorya ng mga Inday, halin sa Iloilo, the PDL 700.
dapat na mautan. Ang lugar na ini ang nagpabayo sa akong gabata sa kadulong sa prehas. Ito ko naman siya gano'n.